So it's been seven months since Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens dropped into cinemas, and people are still deliberating over who Supreme Leader Snoke may be. Now, I thought, instead of me putting my own theory forward of who he may be, let's discuss a few people he probably is not. These are all theories that I have found on YouTube, and I've had a good watch of a few videos, and I'm going to put my point forward as to why I don't think any of these have really hit the nail on the head yet. I'm going to go through a few that I absolutely believe he is not, and the reasons why, and there's a couple at the end who I'm willing to accept he may be. Uh, so let's get started. Supreme Leader Snoke is Darth Vader. Straight away, Darth Vader's dead. Died at the end of Episode 6, his body was burned, his melted helmet from the pyre is actually in Star Wars Episode 7, with what is apparently supposed to be his ashes underneath. So, Darth Vader is dead. Also, Darth Vader going that dark and going to the dark side and creating Kylo Ren and, you know, more Sith, it completely ruins the, the whole idea of the original trilogy, which is Darth Vader's redemption to become a Jedi. So, I, I certainly do not believe that Darth Vader is Snoke at all. Supreme Leader Snoke is the Emperor. This is just boring. This is the same villain that we've had for six movies so far, and, you know, the spin-off TV series, you know, he's always in the background pulling the strings. We don't want the same bad guy. It's not going to be the Emperor. It's obvious as well, because the Emperor somehow finds a way of coming back. The Emperor's dead, and if, if he was the Emperor, that would make Darth Vader's sacrifice just completely, like, it just completely wastes that, and his noble sacrifice is then just completely negated. Supreme Leader Snoke is Luke Skywalker. First of all, why? Why would it be Luke Skywalker? I know people are looking for a big twist, but Luke Skywalker went through the entire trilogy learning to be a Jedi, only to touch on the dark side at the end, only to pull himself back and at the same time his father. It, again, ruins the conceit of the original trilogy. It ruins the whole storyline of the original trilogy if Luke did eventually fall to the dark side anyway. Also, his isolation and like it, it wouldn't make sense. Kylo Ren from the future. This was a personal favourite in my dumb column because there's never been any sign of time travel in Star Wars canon. And even in the T V series, you know, it's never it's never been explored. It's not something that needs to be brought into Star Wars either. We do not need time travel. It messes everything up. Just watch Star Trek to show just how much continuity really suffers when you start bringing in dumb things like time travel. It is so dumb. So, so dumb. Snoke is Luke Skywalker's grandfather. Now, this has obviously been postulated by someone who does not understand Star Wars or, or the lore surrounding Star Wars. This is canon that I'm going to say now. Luke Skywalker does not have a grandfather because Anakin Skywalker did not have a true father. He was fathered by the Force under a ritual that Darth Plagueis and to-be Emperor Palpatine um, undergo to try and create the one in which they thought they failed, by the way, um, until Anakin Skywalker was found and then obviously uh, Palpatine realised that it had succeeded soon after he killed Plagueis. Plagueis is actually still alive within Star Wars Episode One, as far as I understand. So if he was Luke Skywalker's grandfather, he'd either be Palpatine, which we have discussed is just so boring, or he'd be Darth Plagueis, but technically that's still not his grandfather. Moving on. These two that I'm willing to believe is of, is, of course, Darth Plagueis. Now, I'm willing to believe that. That would be okay. Darth Plagueis actually survived because he's mastered saving himself from death. That he survived Palpatine's attack on him and he has been maybe rejuvenating and just holding off because he knew that ultimately Palpatine would fail or something because he's a much more powerful Sith and therefore he has seen that Palpatine would fail. I'm willing to believe that, although it's been pretty much confirmed that he's not. But J.J. Abrams is not above lying to try and keep some of his secrets close to his chest, and that's absolutely fine with me. The disfigurement on the figure, he could be a mun. Then again, it was also a hologram, so he could just be anybody. You don't, you know, you can't see, he, that a hologram could be of anything. It might not be of what Snoke really looks like. So, I'm, I, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to believe that. Darth Bane. Supreme Leader Snoke being Darth Bane. Now, I certainly do, I really don't believe that this will ever be, because he's actually dead in the canon. In Star Wars The Clone Wars episode, uh, in season 6, sorry, Yoda actually goes to uh, Korriban, which where they call Moriband, because it's, it's had a few different names over the, over the generations, and he actually sees the ghost of Darth Bane, 
and uh, it, it, it's a it's a great scene to and, and it actually brings Darth Bane and the lore of two and all that it, it rounds that off in the canon so that's great so I certainly don't believe that he's going to be Darth Bane but if they had an acceptable excuse that maybe Darth Bane had found a way to rematerialize or maybe or maybe it is Darth Bane's spirit teaching I would kind of be okay with that but it would be a stretch for the regular Star Wars viewer. The nerds, the super nerds like me that love the canon, that'd be fine. It's it's a great little nod to, to, to the old canon as well in the books and, and the old books, some of the old books anyway. But I, I, I don't believe that he would be, but as a super nerd, I'd be willing to accept it if they explain it properly. So that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, in the comment section below, tell me, who do you think Snoke is and why? Uh, I love to read these comments. I love to have a little discussion. Uh, I love to, you know, um, sort of banter back and forth as to why I uh, agree or disagree. But all I would say all opinions are valid, apart from the ones that I have said on this video, which I think are just so dumb. Some of them are so dumb. They're so dumb. I I've got to go because this dumb is hurting me. Thank you for watching. My social medias are in the section below. Feel free to follow them. Feel free to not. Like the video if you liked it. Thanks for watching.